think about the automobile industry and where we stand today, um, and you think there are these foundational changes that are occurring in the automobile industry that are very much kind of parallel, you know, what the uh, telecom industry looked back like back in the 1980s. With the partnership uh, of NHTSA and the Department of Transportation, we're going to uh, an era where we know that the the best uh, crash is the one that doesn't happen. Today's automobiles uh, contain hundreds and hundreds of sensors, and they are more and more aware uh, of what is going on within the, the vehicle environment itself, but also what is going on around the vehicle. So the vehicle itself is, is more aware of, of what's happening around it. Uh, the next uh, kind of foundational change that I see that's, that's going on is uh, just the intelligence. Um, uh, the, the vehicle itself today has uh, tens and tens of uh, electric uh, computing units or ECUs, which are basically just uh, computers that are in the, in the vehicle. These vehicles are incredibly intelligent uh, computing platforms. And, uh, and then, of course, uh, connectivity. Uh, so connectivity is, is happening uh, at a great pace uh, now. AT&T uh, estimates that uh, by uh, 2019, uh, over 80% of the cars uh, will be connected uh, in some type of uh, fashion. So that is an incredible uh, ramp that's going on. Uh, we already, uh, just at General Motors, have uh, over a million cars uh, on the road today that are uh, connected through the, uh, the 4G platform. So the connectivity into the vehicle is another major trend. And finally, just the mobility of the vehicle itself. Uh, today, uh, we are looking at uh, powertrains that uh, have a greater uh, diversity uh, than ever before. Before, uh, before the iPhone was introduced, uh, we had done all these uh, market studies uh, and uh, based on the customer feedback, uh, we knew that for absolute certainty that the most the customer wanted to pay uh, for a cell phone was $80. And so we were working very hard to produce an $80 phone that had you know, some functionality. And, uh, and then there was this guy from uh, a whole different industry that said, you know, uh, we can create uh, an $800 phone that people will stand in line to, to get. Uh, and, and it happened, right? Uh, I think that's the great thing about disruptive technology and technology transformation is that it happens in ways that, that nobody expects uh, from quarters that nobody is looking at. We always tend to over forecast the amount of change that's gonna happen in the next two years, but under forecast the amount of change that's gonna happen in the next 10 years. So where will we be in, in 10 years uh, in the transportation industry? I, I think uh, we will be in a fundamentally different place uh, than we are today because of these kinds of technologies. And uh, I think the next uh, 20, 25 years uh, in transportation are, are gonna be uh, more exciting than the last 100 years combined. Uh, and so I'm really excited about what the future holds for us all.